Hello everyone, welcome back and in this sort of not tutorial but yeah breakdown video I have a really cool amazing text effect to show to you Right now I have this this write on effect in the text so instead of that if it would have been you know that brush stroke sort of effect if you like if I'm coping up with me so you might know but whatever so you know something like that then it would be yeah like this would have been great effect very great effect but again like it's fine you might not find it great some of you might find it great i don't know whatever but the thing is i just saw the sort of effect you know it's pretty similar to that not exactly this but it was pretty similar to it so i thought to recreate it so first things first yeah okay so this was the image which i'm talking about i know this might look better than ours one because as is pretty simple pretty plain not much is happening here and here uh the golden texture is also very great and it is sort of embedded it's like the bump texture here is inverted which i personally don't know how to do in uh let me choose all to be honest but if you guys know then again comment section is open for you guys so yeah i tried my best but i was not able to you know create exactly similar effect like that but i think it's pretty good to be honest so i thought to share a video so let's begin first things first creating the background as usual so a simple background solid color this green color then we have the fast noise the scale is set to 1000 you know and the color is set to gradient so that we don't have alpha down background so you can see all the settings then just merging both together and we have this sort of grainy grungy not grungy but yeah grainy texture then you can see the output of this merge are going to three places first is this one second is this one and third is this one well why is that okay first of all from this merge first we have this color character in this color character i have just changed its color that's it so basically we can say another background yeah and after it we have our text so i use this color character to have texture on the text and i wanted the texture on text to have the same effect like not same effect you can say but the same texture where the background has so that's why i'm using it like this and in text you can see in if i go to shading and in shading uh, the type is set to image that is why i am able to plug this color character into the text otherwise i wouldn't be able to then i just you know copied it with control c and did control shift v to have an instance and you can see i have this instance color character but in this instance uh what i did was okay after this text i have this merge so basically i also made uh these rectangle masks so first one is this you can see pretty similar uh i have reduced its border width and solid is checked all the settings like this then another another mask see listen i have all of these uh things explained in my previous video so if you haven't seen those then what are you doing you should you should go and see check those out uh in this one in this rectangle paint mode is set to subtract paint mode is set to subtract not subtract i don't know why i'm these days saying subtract to subtract but whatever so in this you can see what is happening it is set to subtract and corner radius is zero that's why we we're able to get this sort of effect okay it's masking it out you can say yeah out is i don't know if it's a correct word or not but then again we have uh another rectangle this time the border width is increased and the solid is uh unchecked all right and with that we have something like this so what is happening is if i remove this mask then we will have something like this because we have the text and this instance uh whatever you want to say call it instance background whatever is following the same texture the text is also present here if i just go here and change the color but you might not be able to see it because the instance is also following the color characters principles or settings inspector settings so what we did is we just simply directly connected those masks into the merge and with that we have this sort of text and elements effect now again all of this is going in over here and in this merges i think in this one merge yeah apply mode is set to screen okay only because of that the color is changed if it was set to normal then it would have been brown or something like that you can play with it if you want you know you can do multiply color burn color linear darker color whatever you can you you guys are smarter than me obviously you can change it to screen uh like me if you're falling then what we have is again uh this merge and output is going into three inputs first one was this this was just you know the basic simple comp background then after this what we have is first of all we have this bitmap in this bitmap the channel is set to luminance yep it is set to luminance you can change if you want but i set to luminance because i want this text out of it then we have the create bump map and in this bump map you can see it's what is bump map bump map basically creates you know the normals and all of that so basically it just take all those rgb values and just extract those out a little bit so with the help of that if i increase the height scale you know so i get this more outwards you can say but thing is again 
I was not able to extrude it out, even if I, you know, invert it. This is the thing I want to ask from you guys. How do you deal with this? Then erode dilate, and in this erode dilate, I didn't do anything. Oh, that's that's crazy. I should have done something, but whatever. After this, like after all this, uh, this is going into the channel boolean's foreground. So in channel boolean, the operation is set to copy. To red, to green, to blue is all set to do nothing. To alpha set to alpha background obviously and in auxiliary channels uh you have to enable extra channels auxiliary channels in here in 2x normal you have to set to red foreground y to green z to blue so what it's doing is basically it's taking all those normal so if i view this channel boolean now you can see the thing is happening it's as it is okay but this channel boolean will contain all the different uh channels basically whether it's normal channel you know some other texture uh vectors value or something like that basically so we already have the normal over here so we can just directly put it into the foreground and now if i view channel boolean nothing will happen again but if you click on channel boolean and here in channels in color where it says color you now have these normals value okay so till here it didn't have those normal values but with the help of this channel boolean it also contains its normal values it's just not visible to us so what are we going to do with this uh normal value we'll put it in the shader so if i show show this to you if i just remove everything for once in this shader you can see it has it has done something i don't know what but it has done something you guys will be like yeah. okay so first of all the settings are somewhat like this and right now it's affecting the whole image i don't want that i just want it to affect to this part only and for that we had this merge right so i'll just take the input directly from it mask this shader and boom it just affects this part so with the help of the shader we can see we are able to get lights and shadow you can play with it you know all the polar height and all that stuff equator angle and all that fancy stuff you can play with that but the main thing is we are able to get those height and shadows if i come to the skate bump map if i reduce it boom they are gone increase it so i will type here something like 40 i think 40 is fine maybe you know a little bit more but that will be too much so maybe 50 is fine to be honest all right pretty cool then after that uh we have this image yeah so this image again this is a 360 exr photo and its resolution is really high it's 8k you can even go over there and see it's 8k all right which is really really high to be honest but again we'll just use it as a reflection map nothing else and in this shader if i hover on this green input you can see it says environment reflection map so it will reflect according to it right now it's just reflecting uh i think on a single single white light nothing else but once i connect it into the environment reflection map, the reflections will be a little bit better according to me again i'm not sure but maybe <laughs> those will be better so you can play with a lot of settings here in the shader no i don't want to make it too much reflective i just want the highlights and shadows you can say just that maybe a little bit of not little bit reflection is always zero or one yeah i just remember that so you can do all that if you want refraction you can do that but this is not glass so we won't do refraction we just need screen reflections then nothing else uh just all this i thought to add all this stuff but it didn't work out so we have this sort of golden effect right what i thought to do after it is again we have this prism blur and with prism blur all the settings are like this Blur strength is set to zero. If you are facing uh, bigger noises, I'm sorry about that. Can't do anything about it. Blur strength is zero. Ablation distance is 0.04, somewhat like this. We can even increase it if you want. So maybe 0.06. And in all the stuff like that. But the main thing is after that, we have this fast noise. If I just view this fast noise over here. Okay, so if I enable my check and delay. Yeah, in this fast noise, what is happening is basically all the settings here are like this. Okay, and the seed rate is a little bit increase that's why it's animatable if i okay it's not playing maybe i need to check proxy and order proxy right clicking over here so it's not playing okay if i just you know play it like this you can see it's giving us a sort of gobo light effect if you know what it is uh maybe you can understand it in a better way like it's giving us some sort of you know there are leaves and the sunlight is passing through it you know that sort of effect. and maybe we can you know play with it more in a much better way so actually something like i think this is much better yeah so whatever so these settings are like this and because of the angle it is set somewhere around here and also the x and y uh scale is done in a little bit different manner so that we get those long shadows and the main thing is if you come to color here it is set to gradient first things first second uh it's one color is uh set to 
like it's al one color is alpha value set to zero and the second one alpha value set to 0 0.7 if i will increase it it will be pure black if i decrease it it will be again transparent just like the other one but we don't need that so we will do 0.85 you know somewhat like this and if i see the whole comp actually not i think it's it's great you can even play with seed a lot to get a perfect refined look you can say so something like this maybe not maybe something like you know you just need to find a perfect spot so something like this you know what i think we have increased the shadows a lot but again there is no fun if we don't have more dark shadows but still you can make it 2.8 if you like so whatever that's how you create basically this sort of uh, technique or text effect whatever uh it's free it's available uh in the link provided in the description below so please go and check it out explore that's it with this one see you in the next one and by the way i always if you follow me on discord then you might know if you follow our fusion studios community channel uh which is discord server so if you follow that then you might know that i always say i do a lot of tests and you know stuff like that see this is actually the testing stuff let me show you so this first one over here is of that so i have the image also this is the image see i just want to copy this then i created this and i know it's it's not perfectly like that but again a goal was not that if you remember one more thing i'm noticing is actually it's looking great because of the background itself so what we can do is maybe i'm not i'm not again not sure but in the background if i add like another background on top of it and maybe make it a little bit more whiter or you can say more yellower but for that what i'll do is i'll just simply copy this with control c paste it with control v take its output pass it to the merge view it it will be more darker obviously but if i come over here do inverted uh okay just a moment if i do this then do this choose inverted yeah it's working fine then let me just make it like this again then over here uh instead of black what i'll do is i'll make it white or maybe not white but you know this sort of glowy you can say you know something like this oh wow this is actually really crazy again we want this to be transparent okay at the same time so not this much but a little bit of goldenish you can say see it just changed the whole vibe and that is what i was talking about earlier and even if i like now i can come over here maybe increase the detail want to okay not the detail and you know what it's too much white i think i should i don't know why it's alpha always gets to one i want this to be one yeah that is actually pretty cool to be honest actually i need to reduce its brightness i think now it should work yes indeed it is not working see this this is a thing why i just like it a lot and you can add prism blur after it well who's stopping you and i think now we are pretty much close to our main effect if we think it in terms of like the same effect i think we are pretty much close i'll just go here i'll increase the timing of it I'll make it duration to five. Then come back here. Oh, why is it showing me this? That's these are my other tests, which I want to make a separate video on. So which I want to make a separate video. So let me just come back over here. Okay, that's great. Uh, now what we can do is in this rectangle, the first keyframe. Okay, not this one. Yeah, this one. I set over here. Then maybe you know just a little bit more till O. And now let's see the final result. And in a word, it's actually looking really great. But I just forgot to tell you one thing: how to create this sort of effect. So you can see in the text, uh, it's right on property. You can see it's zero until the end, not till the end, uh, till sixty. It is to one. Okay. And one more thing I should I think we did here is that if I go to spline while clicking on my on this text, and because if I go to menu of spline, you can see show only selected tool is checked. That's why it's just showing me this text. If I click on it, yeah. So what I did was I selected all of it, then shift S or F, whatever you want to call it, then hit T and then, you know, increasing the ease in and ease out all that. Earlier it was, yeah, so something like this. So I set it to 51 and 50. And because of that, we have this sort of smooth transitioning of the text. And that's pretty much it for this one. I hope that I was able to answer all of your questions. You know what? I tried to add some glow also to the image, but just just forget about that. <laughs> it is not looking great at all. But 
Apogee Refraction was also not great. So yeah, just forget about it. Disable them. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Why do we have these images again and again? I can delete this one. All right, so this is our inspiration. This is what we achieved. I know it's not that great, but we have some things to say. Please comment down below. Again, your efforts will be highly appreciated. If you want the file, it will be provided in the link in the description below. So don't forget to check the description. There are a lot of links which might be useful to you. And yeah, that is it. This is the YouTube channel of Fusion Studios. If I have to organize it in a good way, then how will I organize it? I would do some stuff like, so I think this might be a bit better and organized in a way, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure, but if I just hide it behind this, wow, then it's great. But no, I don't want to hide anything. I want to show stuff. Okay, so yeah, if you like this one, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with editor geeks or whatever you want. You know, you, your guys, your friends, your group, or your community, whatever. Just share it there. That's it. Links are in the description. Don't forget to follow. Peace out. Bye-bye. See ya.